everyone, and welcome to the Plant Science Research and Education Unit. My name is Marcelo Valau, I'm the UFI Fast Forage Extension Specialist, and I'm here with this amazing crew today to check on some planting equipment. Hi, my name is Buck Nelson, I'm a research coordinator here. I manage all the research crops from the agronomic, horticultural, uh, fruit crops, and tree crops as well. And uh, then I got uh, Tony Skinner, He's uh, Ag Assistant 3 out here. He's going to be helping us uh, go through these planters and talking about uh, what we do as far as uh, calibration, clean out, uh, taking care of them maintenance wise and stuff like that. Also helping us out is Danny Christmas. He is our farm manager out here. Uh, he helps uh, keep everything going. Thank you guys for doing this for us today and showing some equipment. Here with us we have two different types of grain drills. We have a regular grain drill and we have a no-till grain drill. And Buck's going to run over some of the main differences between the two pieces of equipment. Yeah, as Marcelo said, we have two different types of grain drills. Uh, this is our John Deere, it's an eight foot wide uh, grain drill. It's a full type grain drill. Um, what you see here is you use this type of grain drill uh, when you're planting in prepared ground, like in the tilled field or something like this. Uh, this particular uh, alley we're in right here, uh, you would actually, you could plant right into this if you wanted to. Uh, and what this is, it's got a big seed hopper box on it and a lot of uh, producers will plant uh, their cover crops with it. Say they're planting their rye, wheat or oats, or in the springtime if they're planting uh, their millets and stuff like that, they'll use this type of grain drill. Um, but anyway, you can see on this one here, uh, it's got coulters on it. It's got the drop tubes that come down, which deliver the seed down there. But the coulters open up just a little furrow in the soil and the, you know, the seed drops down in there. And this also has uh, drag chains on it, which you can see right here. This kind of fills in the furrow a little bit. This is, and then also we kind of modified this particular drill. It has a drag bar behind it. So when we're in the field, you know, we just set this down, even though it's got the chains on it, we just want to ensure that we get good seed to soil incorporation there. So, but get the cultures in the ground, it's got, you know, hydraulic. So there's a hydraulic cylinder on the front. And of course, it plugs into the ports on the back of the tractor, which enables the cultures to go down. Because when you get to your ends, you want to lift it up, turn around and go back down your same track. Then the other one here, this is uh, manufactured by Sucka. <clears throat> this is a six foot wide, no till drill. And of course the main difference is a no-till drill means you plant into areas that you don't have to till. You can plant into a uh, sodded field, whether it's bahia grass, Bermuda grass, or whatever you want to do. And uh, you got some people that'll plant, uh, they'll either have their fields either, uh, they either mow it real close or they'll burn it off, whatever it is, and they can either plant a cover crop of some sort or they can plant, you know, you can still plant your wheat, rye, uh, this one has two boxes on it. You got a big tank for your bigger seeded, like your rye, wheat, oats again. And you have a smaller tank for your smaller seeded crops, like your clovers and such like that. So a lot of, and you can integrate them as well. So you can plant, you know, something, uh, say you're planting a, a rye, but you want to mix a little something else with it, maybe a, a, a little bit of clover in there. So you can plant at the same time, because as you see, on this one here, you have the drop tubes coming from the main tank. You got the smaller tubes coming down here. And on this one here, we have uh, two sets of cultures up front. We have some here that they're cutting, they cut through the sod and they go down a little bit. Of course, we're sitting in the soil right here. So imagine you're sitting in some bahia grass or Bermuda grass and they would cut through that. Then you got your furrow openers right here. These two, these cultures here, there's two of them and they just open up the furrow, something like that. Then you got your drop tube seeds. There's a, this is from the main tank. So there's a tube that goes right here where it drops the seed. And if you're planting with the, um, the smaller seed one, here's your tube here. Then back here is your, your press wheel, which seals in the, the little furrow right there. This machinery here is much heavier than a common drill. And it's made heavier because we need to put weight on those coulters to make sure we're cutting a cover crop that you just rolled, for example. Uh, this here is important. We'll, we'll open, we'll cut that 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 sod or that crop, and open space for those for those double discs here to drop the seeds. 
So if you are in a situation where I have a prepared seed bed and you are using this no-till drill, you need to make sure first you are not getting those discs too, too, too deep, but you need to get some pressure on it. And you can either raise it up on the three-point hitch or on the hydraulics if it's a, it's a pull type, or you can you can raise those discs here, put less pressure. Those discs here also work in tandem with this packing wheel here. So there is a, a series of uh, springs that are going to adjust the movement of this whole planting gear here. So e even if the ground is not even, you are, you are able to plant even in, at even depths <clears throat> throughout, the, throughout the field. This little T-shaped adjustment here is the adjustments for the for the for the packing wheel here the further up you put the more the more you restrict the movement so the further down this goes and raises raises this um, this disc here so we're not putting the seats too deep but you're also putting more pressure in packing it there the further back further backwards in relation to the tractor and machine further backwards you put this the more give this will has this packing wheel has and the deeper we're putting our seeds basic thing you need to make sure is the machine is level by leveling up you use your uh top link you don't want to come too far forward or too far backwards because you put too much pressure going the back or you put too much pressure in the front after you hook up you get all set up you need to check your grease fittings there's several grease fittings but not many on most grain drills these grease fittings here are right basically up here where the um cultures are and they're right here and here each one of them every one of them has got one there other grease fittings could be um if you've got a grain drill with uh drive shafts it could be in between here and there depends on which ones you use uh, Make sure your hydraulics are hooked up the right way. Which way, what I mean by that is if it spins forward or backwards. If you don't have them right, you end up planting the whole field. You ain't got no seed coming out. So you need to make sure seed does come out. When you sit up on these green drills here, the pull type, you need to make sure your depth on your uh, cultures are set up properly. Not, you don't want to be too deep. And you don't want to be too shallow. Other problems like we have just seen here, if you look at them, you'll see that the, each one of the tubes have seed here. They're not supposed to have any seed there. It's supposed to be actually empty. What causes that most of the time is it's either stopped up or it's not all the way down with the, when the tire's turning and it does not fall out the tube right. 